In this video, we're going to be taking a look at interpreting remainders, okay, and especially with story problems. Okay, now the goal for today is to be able to interpret a remainder when you're working with a word problem or a story problem. Okay, now it's important to know that whenever you solve a story problem using division, division the real world situation tells how to make sense of the remainder. Okay, now it's important to know, and I want you to write all of this down in your notes, and especially you have to do something with the leftovers. Okay, in other words, whenever you have a remainder, that's the leftover. So, in other words, you have to do something with that. So, let's write this down in your notes, and we're going to take a look at what it means to interpret remainders. Now, here we have a problem. Um, a story problem here, and it says a wood carver has made 179 carved animals that will be shipped in boxes that hold eight animals. Okay, now what we want to do first of all, we want to answer some questions, think about what we know. We know that there are 179 carved boxes. Okay, it's going to be shipped in boxes, I'm sorry, carved animals that's going to be shipped in a box that holds eight animals. Okay, now we need to figure out how many boxes can be completely filled. Okay, so what we do to figure this out, we just take 179 and we're going to divide that by 8. Okay, and I don't mind if you use your calculator on this problem. Okay, that's going to give us 22 with a remainder of 3. Okay, now in trying to figure out how many boxes can be completely filled, we see that 22 boxes can be completely filled. Okay, now, however, we have three animals that are left over. That's our remainder. Okay, three animals are left over. So if we're trying to figure out how many boxes needs need to be shipped in all, we would say that 23 boxes still need to be shipped because we have 22 that are going to be completely filled. However, three animals still need to be shipped, okay, which would add another box to this. Okay, so let's take a look at another problem here. Sarah's movie collection is stored in a cabinet that holds six movies on each shelf. She has 89 movies in her collection. How many shelves can be completely filled? How many shelves are needed in all? So what we need to do first of all is figure out what we're trying to solve. Okay, figure out what we have first. We know that her movie collection is stored in a cabinet that holds six movies on a shelf. And she has a total of 89 movies. So that's what we know. Now we need to figure out what we're trying to find out. How many shelves can be, can be completely filled first of all? So what we will do is set up the division problem of 89 divided by 6. And I don't mind if you use a calculator on this problem. So 89 divided by 6 will give us 14 with a remainder of 5. Now it's time to interpret our answer. So we're trying to figure out how many shelves can be completely filled. And we can see right here that 14 will be completely filled. So that will answer that question. Okay, so 14 shelves can be completely filled. Now we're trying to interpret our remainder because we still have five movies that are left over that do not have a shelf as, as we speak right now. So to figure out how many shelves are needed in all, if 14 are going to be completely filled, remember we still need to put these five movies somewhere. So we're going to need to add another shelf. Okay, so how many shelves are needed in all? We will have 15 shelves needed in all. Get your notes out and be begin to do this with us. Daryl is moving to his new house. His 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 belongings are packed into 100 boxes of equal size. His truck can hold 16 boxes. How many trips will Daryl need to make? How many boxes will be carried on the last trip? Okay, so to solve this problem, the first thing you will need to do is figure out what we know. Okay, and we know that his belongings are packed into 100 boxes that we can see here. And his truck can also hold 16 boxes. All right, so that's what we know. Now, we're trying to figure out how many trips will Daryl need to make. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to take 100 
and we're going to divide that 100 by 16 since each um, trip there can be 16 boxes. And I don't mind if you use your calculator on this. So we have 100 divided by 16. Okay, and that's going to give us 6 with a remainder of 4. Okay, now this means that six trips he will have a completely full truck. And then his final trip, he still has four boxes left over that he's going to need to carry. Okay, so how many trips will Daryl will need to make in all? Okay, so I have six full trips with one trip with four boxes. So that means Daryl's going to need to make seven total trips. Now the final question, how many boxes will be carried on that last trip? And we can easily see with our remainder here, four boxes will be on that last trip. Okay, so the answer for that would be four boxes. Now we're going to do one more problem together, then I'll have you do one all by yourself. There are one, 135 fifth graders students at a certain school. Each table in the lunch, lunch room seats six students. How many tables are needed to seat all all fifth graders? How many f students will be at the table at the table that is not filled? Okay, in order to solve this problem, we need to figure out what we know. Okay, and we know that there are 135 fifth grade students in a certain school, and we also know that each table in the lunchroom seats six students. Now we need to figure out what we're trying to find. How many tables are needed to seat all fifth graders? So we set this up as a division problem again. 135 divided by 6. And once again, I don't mind if you use your calculator on that. And that's going to give us the answer of 22 with a remainder of 3. Okay. Now the 22 represents the tables that are completely filled. Okay, the three represents the students that are left over for the tables that are not, or the table that is not filled. Okay, so we still need an extra table for these three students. They don't want to sit on the floor or anything like that. Okay, so the answer for this would be 23 tables would be needed in all. Okay, now how many students will be at the table that is not filled? That is our remainder. Okay, I can see that three students will be at that table that is not filled. Okay, pretty simple to see that. And the answer for this one would be three students. Now what I want you to do is pause this video and work this problem out. And when you're finished, you can press play and I will have the answers for you. So pause the video now. Okay, so here's the answer to the division problem. 63 divided by four is 15 remainder of three. Okay, so how many cars will they need? Okay, we're gonna need 16 cars because you still have three students that are not in that that don't aren't going to be part of a full car but they still need a car to travel in okay and then how many students will be in that last car you should have three students in that final car so this is how you interpret remainders and i would like to especially thank hunter for being our guest star on the video